Twice a year, the Reserve Bank puts out its Financial Stability Review. And the big picture is OK. But there are problems at home. About half of Australia's borrowers have a savings buffer that would last them six months or more if they completely lost their income. More than 40% would be in trouble in just a few weeks. What's keeping them afloat is our strong jobs market. And the one-third of Australians who rent are living closer to the wire than the chunk with loans. But thanks to pandemic-era support and savings, both groups have bigger buffers than before COVID came along. US markets roared through record highs after the Fed, the central bank there, suggested there could be three cuts to interest rates, which would make money cheaper. Indices in the UK and Europe love the idea too. China and Hong Kong have their own problems. While the Aussie dollar took a substantial hit, with the likely interest rate cuts a vote of confidence in the US economy. On commodity markets, gold might look a little bit less shiny, but it's still near record highs as well. Broadly, our share market shed 0.3% today, but lifted 1.3% for the week, and it has smashed its own highs recently. Back to the stability, or otherwise, one of the Reserve Bank's big worries about the global economy is the commercial real estate market. If you think we've embraced work from home, check out the US. A lot of super funds here have invested heavily in buying office buildings globally, and that space isn't in demand like it used to be. And that's finance.